I don't really have a lot of experience photographing comets for this one. I'm gonna have to make an exception. Tonight I'm going to be focusing on not one but two comets traveling through our solar system. The first of the two we'll be photographing is Comet 67P, Cheryumov Gerasimenko. Um, I think I said that right, if not I apologize. It was first observed on photographic plates in 1969 by the two Soviet astronomers Cheryumov and Gerasimenko. It most recently came to perihelion on November 2nd, 2021 and will return on April of 2028. This comet was actually the destination of the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission launched on March 2nd, 2004. Rosetta rendezvoused with the comet on August 6, 2014 and entered orbit on September 10th, 2014. Rosette's lander landed on the comet's surface on November 12th, 2014, becoming the first spacecraft to ever land on a comet nucleus. So I'm about a month late probably to be photographing uh, this comet at its ideal time. We're ready on our second target. Um, we have a little bit of time to kill. This would be a good opportunity to see what I could capture. The second comet I will attempt to photograph is getting a lot of attention right now due to its extremely bright magnitude as it travels closer and closer towards our sun. The 2021 A1 Leonard is an inbound long period comet discovered by J.G. Leonard at the Mount Lemmon Observatory on January 3rd, 2021. It was just five astronomical units from the sun. One astronomical unit is simply just the distance the Earth is from the Sun. It was the first comet ever discovered in 2021. Um, I believe there are only about four mornings left to photograph uh, this comet from the morning hours from the Northern Hemisphere. If I do miss it, I can catch it later on the month, luckily, um, after December 17th. You can look for the planet Venus in the evening sky to the southeast. Um, it's the brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon, so it's really hard to miss, and the comet will, will be between Venus and the horizon. After that, things get a little more challenging. After Leonard leaves the southern skies behind, you'll be out of luck. With an orbital period of 80,000 years, um, the last people to witness this comet were our distant ancestors and homo sapiens. Um, and astronomers believe after this pass by the sun, it will be flung from our solar system for good. For this project, I will use my Z81 refractor and my ASI 183MC Pro astronomy camera. The filter I'll use is just a simple IR cut filter to help with star bloating and keep those natural colors. Everything will be controlled via the ASI Air Pro where I have the power supply coming from this power box underneath and everything is riding on the EQ6R Pro. I got the telescope up, I got everything polar aligned. Sorry, I was kind of rushing to get here. Um, if you guys remember Comet Neowise, it was uh, a really cool thing, and I really like getting a good comet shot. So I'm gonna try to slew this thing over and see if we can locate this comet, and yeah, get a good photograph. So I'm just connecting everything now. Thank you for discovering this comet. Now I can photograph it. Target is center. There it is. Let's go ahead and do a 30 second exposure. I remember Comet Neowise, it was just the feeling that I had seeing that thing. It was uh, right over there in the sky. I just remember uh, it was right when kind of I was getting real deep into astrophotography and yeah, it really kind of changed the way that I looked at astronomy. Anytime there's a new comet in the sky that's worth photographing, I'm gonna take the time to do it. I'm gonna turn auto guiding on. I'm cooling down to negative 15 degrees just to get a little cleaner signal to noise ratio. So hopefully we can uh, get some detail in this tail and really uh, get a cool photograph of a near earth comet. Yeah. All right, guys, it's 
it's around 1.30 and we still got a couple more hours till um, Leonard is high enough to probably see above my horizon over here. So taking about 20 exposures and they're looking great. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and set my alarm for a couple hours and wake back up and yeah, we'll see what this common Leonard looks like. Hopefully we can get a good hour in before sunrise and hopefully it will clear the tree line over here and i'll be able to see it tonight um, if not we might be waiting until later on in the month you can see it in the evening skies so yeah. see how it's looking at 4 30. Unfortunately, I was not able to capture Comet Leonard as the tree line was blocking it from my view. So I will try again after the 17th. But I did capture some time on 67P, so either way, I had an amazing night in the backyard and definitely scratched out astronomy itch. If you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a like and a comment. If you have any of your own images of 67P or Comet Leonard, post them in the comments below. I would love to see them. If you're new to the channel, I do videos all about astronomy, gear reviews, and astrophotography from Portal 3 Skies. If this is something you're into, consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. Again, thanks for watching, good luck, clear skies, and I'll see you in the next video. Hope you enjoy the image. Peace.